If you would have asked me in 1990s, is prostate cancer hereditary, I would have said, no, this is something that can occur in, in all men. Of course, I now realize that in my youth I was, I was wrong, and in reality that there, there are certain families where there does appear to be a hereditary component of prostate cancer. And I have seen and worked with families where four brothers, all close in age, were diagnosed with prostate cancer literally within 18 months of each other. Um, and so we realize that today upwards to 15 percent of prostate cancer may have a hereditary component. And that's also going into things that we think about the screening guidelines. If you have a family member who developed prostate cancer at a young age, um, 50 or less, we certainly warn other family members that um, they are potentially at a higher risk. So hereditary is one of those causes that we understand comes into play. So probably one of the most publicized things now regarding chemical exposure would be to veterans who served in Vietnam and were exposed to Agent Orange. And while it took a long time for that issue to be at least settled at the, at the government level about is this something where veterans should be, who are later diagnosed with prostate cancer, be considered service connected. The answer is um, now that veterans who develop prostate cancer and who were in an active combat zone where Agent Orange is used are now considered service connected if later on in life they develop prostate cancer. We know that um, different races um, of men may have higher or less predilection for prostate cancer. So um, um, African American males in the United States certainly are in a higher risk group. Northern European ancestry in, in white males is a risk factor. Uh, men whose um, uh, ancestry would be from uh, parts of Asia are probably at a lower risk. But we also know that there's probably other environmental risk factors. If you take a, um, let's say, a male who immigrates to the United States from Japan, his risk for developing prostate cancer is going to be much lower than the general U.S. population. And even through marriage, let's say that the, that the blood lineage um, uh, of his heritage is maintained in his sons, by the time you get to the third generation, those individuals' risk for developing prostate cancer are approaching that of the average U.S. male, which suggests that there's probably other environmental things, which may be dietary factors, that come into play. So, you know, it's a relatively complicated um, discussion of all the potential causes of prostate cancer.